I've been thinking a lot lately about the most important thing. I think there are a number of most important things in my life. Certainly, my relationships with myself and all the other versions of me, like my children, my partner, my friends, my siblings, parents. But one thing that I think has risen above and been showing itself up lately for me as so important is freedom. Freedom. Tick Not Tom says, letting go gives us freedom. And freedom is the only condition for happiness. If in our heart, we still cling to anything, anger, anxiety, or possessions. We cannot be free, he says. Letting go, surrendering. So often we're told that suffering is a part of life as a human being, and this is true. But it is not a requirement. We can choose not to suffer. How? By surrendering. By surrendering our egos, letting go of our grudges and expectations. So today I thought I would encourage us on a journey, a journey of freedom. Now this is a very bold thing to do, you know. Oh, this is no small act. It's gonna require curiosity, compassion, and very much courage. Because you've been carrying a backpack full of stuff and it has gotten too heavy. You are awakening to realizing that carrying this heavy backpack of grudges, bitterness, expectations, victimhood, mentality, lack, and even identification with aspects of yourself like who you are. I am this or that. These are the expectations that I have of myself. This is my old story and I replay it every day and it becomes my current story, which then becomes my future. And so today, and so today we do the courageous thing of going on a journey. Now we use the imagination And that's a powerful tool indeed, if not the most powerful thing. Anything that is first manifested began as a thought. And so we use our creative thought today to bring into manifestation some freedom. So we start by allowing ourselves to bring all the energies that are scattered here, there, and everywhere back into our bodies. So to begin with, just find a very comfortable place to sit or lie down and make sure that you have a few minutes to be able to focus on your journey and what you would like to create. All right, now that you are comfortable, just take three cleansing breaths in through the nose and fill up the belly so it goes big like a baby belly, a big fat Buddha belly. Breathe that precious life air in. Hold it for just a little bit and then 
release gently, no forcing. And we'll do it again, breathing in through the nose, holding it just a little bit, feeling that breath floating around all the way down to the toes and gently releasing. And now just one last time, breathing gently in through the nose, feeling that breath float all the way down into the fingertips and then a gentle release. And now just take a moment and if you perchance have any mental tabs open, just click, 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 click. If you can, just close them all. Close them all down just for a few minutes. I always get so excited at the beginning of a journey. All right, so we're gonna land in the body. Place your awareness on the bottom of your feet. All of your toes on the left foot. All of your toes on the right foot. The tops of your feet. Your left ankle your right ankle, your left calf, your right calf, left shin, right shin, left knee, right knee, left thigh, right thigh, left hip, right hip, Focus your attention on your low back, around the waist to the belly button and sacral area, perineal wall. Move your attention to the left set of ribs, right ribs, left chest, right chest, left upper back, right upper back. tops of your shoulders, upper arms, left elbow, right elbow, forearms, left wrist, right wrist, left palm, right palm, fingers on your left hand, fingers on your right hand. Focus on the back of your neck. Bring it around to the throat, the jaw, lips, tongue, teeth, even the roof of the mouth, left eye, right eye, forehead, nose and now the top of your head beautiful take another deep breath in and release it's even a brave thing indeed to Allow yourself to come into your body and stay. And so now, I want you to think of a color. I want you to imagine that color as a mist around you. It's a moist mist that is full of energy and healing love and safety. When you are in this mist surrounding you like a really big bubble, you are completely safe. You cannot be hurt. You are just so safe. 
and I want you to imagine yourself entering into this very safe bubble and that's where you will begin and end your journey so that you can rest assured that while you stay in your body and you go on your journey that you are safe. And so we continue. On your journey, you're walking down a path. Now this is a path that you've never been before, but there are some footsteps already in front of you. It's a bit worn, so you know that some people have already been here before. You're like, okay, so I'll follow along. And you know that this is taking you somewhere because that's what you've intended. You have intended that this journey would take you somewhere that you had never been before because you want to experience a freedom that you have not experienced before. And so you're going where you haven't ever before. And so your heart is beating fast. And there's a smile on your lips. And maybe your eyes are misty. Palms are sweaty. Feet are ready to go. You continue down the path and maybe there are trees on the left side and the right side. Or maybe there's all these sunflowers. Maybe you're walking in the middle of a giant sunflower field. Or maybe you're walking alongside of the ocean. You're walking along the shore. Wherever it is that you find yourself in Mother Nature, just look around. Really get your bearings. Enjoy the beauty that she offers. Okay, on up ahead, you decide that it's time to take a little bit of a breather. And so you find a beautiful big tree to sit under. It provides so much shade. The roots go so far, you can't even see where the end of those roots are above ground. You can see the little ruts here and there, but it's far. This is a very safe tree to sit under. And you swing your backpack down and you know that it's time to look in your backpack. And so you zip it open and you reach in and Either you intentionally grab something or you allow yourself to grab something, believing that whatever is coming out is exactly what it is that you're supposed to be removing. And you take that little something out. Now, maybe it's someone who you've been having a very difficult time with. You just don't understand why they would have done what they did. Maybe you don't understand why they would say the things that they did, act the way that they did, and continue to be the way they are. What is some kind of grudge that you've held on to? Don't marinate in it. Just make known that this is the item that you are choosing to remove from your backpack. Perhaps, in addition to the grudge itself, you would also bring that person out of the backpack. You've been holding them hostage with your grudge, and that's a heavy load. Could be another person, or it could be you. So let's stick with just that. Between holding a grudge, not being able to understand a situation, and really having a lot of big energies around it, and the person or persons attached to that situation, let's bring them out into the light of day to be seen. Bring them out of the dark, out of the recesses of your heart, the little cracks and crevices of your body, 
far reaches of your mind. Let's bring it out. Because freedom awaits. Now this part gets a little bit tricky because there are layers to it. But the best that you can, I want you to hold yourself with a great compassion. And I want you to ask yourself, have I really done the work of feeling my feelings in this situation? If I'm angry, have I really allowed myself to feel angry? If I'm grieving, have I really allowed myself to grieve? If I'm bitter, have I really allowed myself to feel the bitterness? Or have I numbed? Or have I shamed myself for it? Or guilted myself? Or victimized myself? Kicked the can down the, down the path a bit. Because it's really important to feel your feelings. To really just set the timer for a minute and say, today's the day. I'm done not feeling because it's exhausting to me and it removes my peace causing dis-ease. So today I'm going to feel my feelings all the way without judgment. Just full wide open space of safety to say this is how it feels in my body. Screaming, crying, punching, weeping. Whatever it is, the body, however the body wants to express these feelings. But they're a substance. And they are in the physical form, in your body. So allow them their voice. Usually you have to move your body. So if you haven't done that work, then enjoy this journey as an understanding of this is where you will go once you have done the work of feeling your feelings and then come back. If you have done the work of feeling your feelings, then it's time for the next step. There's this hope, hopo, opo, oh no, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong, but there is a, a prayer, Hawaiian prayer. And it says, I love you. Of course, now that I'm saying it, I'm going to forget the four steps, but it's I love you. I forgive you. One of these steps is thank you. Thank you. It's a big one to look at your <laughs> to look at your quote unquote enemy in the face and say thank you for being here. Thank you for helping me awaken to what it feels like to forgive, to walk in unconditional love, which is my true identity. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was a hard one. Whew, but thank you. Thank you for disappointing me. Thank you for showing me that I had expectations and that's not helpful. And that's not the way to live this life. Not truly. So thank you. Thank you for your part in my journey. And usually once you have felt your feelings and you start to feel a little more free, the thank you comes a little bit easier. So if you're still struggling with, mm, I don't know if I can say thank you, a couple of things. Continue feeling your feelings, okay? For the purpose of getting rid of them, okay? That's why we feel the feelings, to be able to experience them. That's why we have feelings. They're not to be hoarded, not to be held on to. They're a wave that comes and goes just like the, the ocean tides ebb in and ebb back out again. You can't hold on to the water. It's meant to come in, lap the shore, and go back out again. And that's the way our feelings are. 
So continue to work on feeling those feelings just for the purpose of feeling them. And then understand that forgiveness is a choice, but it's also a journey. And that being thankful for those who have helped us on our journey through their (laughs) adversity, through the difficulties, they're our best teachers, they're our best awakeners, they're our best catalysts, and there will come a time when you'll be thankful. Just keep on the journey and you will be. Okay, so now that we've done that, take those, whatever's left, find a little moist piece of dirt and plant them as seeds. How do you think that the tree that you're sitting on or under got to be here? Somebody years and years and years and years and years ago Let go of a grudge, forgave, let someone off their hook, gained some freedom, planted the seeds so that you would be able to sit under this beautiful tree. Would you give that gift to generations from now by planting your seeds of forgiveness, of harmony, of gratitude, of serenity and zen. So, congratulations on planting some new trees. That's very exciting. I'm excited for the next generations that get to sit under your beauty and do their work. Now, I think that's what we're gonna do for today. I had planned a longer journey, but that one took a lot of energy. You know, I I get this sense that some of us are saying, that was good, but now that I feel a little more free, I'd like to just stay here for a while because as I glance into my backpack, there are other people who are still on my hook, and I'm, I'm eager to get on the journey of letting them go letting them off my hook, coming into a place of surrender, gratitude, and planting seeds. So I encourage you for as long as you need to, to be here, to enjoy this most sacred time, to know that probably somewhere, somewhere, someone out there planted you. Perhaps you did something that you may not know. Maybe you do, but they had expectations of you that you didn't meet and they've been holding you on their hook and they have let you go. And then when you are done, hmm, I encourage you to give yourself a really big hug and know that for sure your life has changed. And I encourage you to look at every single person, every single thing that you are experiencing as if brand new because you're not in the same life anymore. You're not in the same story anymore. You've rewritten your story. You've turned a page and a new chapter has started. So I don't want you to bring yesterday's chapter and yesterday's news into the next. I want you to see it with fresh eyes. So as you go on out there and you start meeting up with people and seeing yourself in the mirror, be curious as a child, as if it is the very first time you've landed on planet Earth and here you are experiencing this person, this day, this situation without any history. See it for the first time leave yesterday and yesterday and create a chapter in your book that you will be so excited to have experienced full of abundance peace wisdom laughter Mm. 
And on behalf of the collective, thank you. Thank you for being so bold as to do this bit of seed planting. I so appreciate you. I appreciate your efforts. I appreciate your heart. Thank you for joining me in this space. It's my intention that you have been encouraged, led towards a place of a little bit more freedom and peace. And I'll see you again. Peace be with you, fellow journeyer.